Okay, hi everyone. I decided to go ahead and um, do a video uh, showing how I go ahead and brush off my succulents I receive in the mail. Sometimes they're a little bit dirty. They arrive kind of full of you know, soil. So I just use a regular cheap um, chip brush and just, you know, gently, if it's a succulent like this, your luck because you can handle it and just like turn it upside down. If you're outside, this would be great because I mean, you can do it over the dirt and won't make a mess, but I'm doing it in the sink and just gently get into those nooks and see, that's, that one's really pretty. Um, see, this one is another one that just shake it gently and then just gently go into those nooks. Look at this one, isn't that beautiful? It's a Haworthia. And um, hopefully I won't kill this one. These are very um, temperamental with watering, so. Okay, this one, um, I just showed the, I recorded the unboxing, I'm gonna upload it. And I, this one just was, I, I don't, well, I don't know if it's this one. I ordered two mammalarias, and they have like hook spines, so they're a bit brutal. So, just again, turn it upside down, kind of just gently brush it, and then um, just beware that these fuzzy, beautiful, fluffy ones that look like if you can pet them uh, up against your cheek, they these no. They're very dangerous. Do not touch it. Do not try petting them. Um, they have hook spines. I don't know if you can see up close right there. If, so let me just go into allow this. See, see those little hook spines. Yeah. So just be beware. And um, yeah, I'm handling them from the bottom of the root ball. So I'm not very scared about getting getting a coat. Let me go ahead and do that there. Doing it here in my sink so I went ahead and covered my dishes and so I just washed them. And yeah, just basically this works really really well, this brush, so don't don't fret if um, if yeah your your beautiful little cactus and arrive kind of dusty. Because you can always brush them off and they'll look just as good as when they were planted. But oh, now this beauty. Look at this one. This one is really full of, um, I'm grabbing it from the root ball. It doesn't have a lot of, a lot of roots. So I'm kind of nervous of this one. Handling this one. You can use some, um, some metal, metal, metal or plastic tongs. To hold it but I, I prefer not to because sometimes you crush the spines or you really you you dig into the flesh you don't know your strength when you're holding it with with the tongs but sometimes it's very necessary uh, or you can use like a, a piece of cardboard some of the cactus that are brutal that are more brutal that have the like humongous spines like the Ming thing those ooh, the spines just go through through the cardboard and you will definitely get pricked. So yeah. Be cautious of that one. Ah, just flipping this one over gently because I see in here. I got into that nook right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get in there with this brush but once I plant it I can go ahead and clean it out with um, with a smaller brush and yeah that's basically it see so that's not bad at all the spines are, are perfect they are not uh, getting destroyed or anything but look how beautiful this brain cactus is awesome right all right so pretty much I cleaned my my new additions here, and um, 
Okay, just go ahead so that your sink doesn't get clogged up. Go ahead and uh, get a wet towel, pick up any soil that fell in there, and then turn on the water so that you could go ahead. And, uh, look, but look at all that dirt it still has in there. That was, it's just, that's just from the root ball, but, but yeah, my beautiful, beautiful new additions. Um, I hope that um, this helps you and, and you realize that it's, it's not, it's not a big deal if, if they come a little bit dusty. Um, it's just uh, being um, kind of gentle and using the correct tools. And uh, yeah, so, all right. Um, Keep it green and I will talk to you later.